Hey, what's up guys? Well, it's your friend Fast Eddie. And today I just wanted to do a quick little review on the Polk Monitor 55T series. Just got these in a couple days ago, hooked them up, got some play time on them. And just with every other Polk that I've ever owned, they sound fantastic. They really do. As far as, um, you know, your tweets and your mid-range, you're not going to get any better, in my opinion, for the price range. I know there are, you know, slightly better speakers, but so far, you know, I've been to many shows and listened to many speakers, and uh, Polk has never let me down for the price. You just, they can't be beat. I got these on sale from uh, Newegg, uh, 130 bucks a piece. So I thought that was fabulous. And these are brand new. They're not refurbished or anything like that. Um, they're straight from the manufacturer. So that, that's great. Um, I did go ahead and get them, obviously, in the black. Now, the difference between the 50, uh, the Monitor 50, is these are all black. There's no silver on the front whatsoever. The only silver you get are in the actual speakers. It's very nice looking. Obviously, you can see on the top there, we do get the uh, one-inch silk dome tweeter, the uh, dynamic balance, as Polk likes to call it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to quite zoom all the way in with this cheapo camera, but uh, if you know Polk, you'll recognize this setup. Then you get your two mid-ranges, and there's my phone ringing off the hook. But uh, I'll go ahead and finish this review. Just don't mind the phone ringing in the background. But yeah, so there you go. That's what it looks like. Now, if these look small in comparison, I have them sitting right next to a 70-inch TV, so <laughs> they probably do look a little bit small. But uh, for the most part, they have a good size, and I'll go ahead and... Uh, measure that exact size for you so we can uh, get a true measurement here now once again obviously this is with the screen off so I'll pull out the handy dandy tape measure here nice wood grain look to it uh, as well I usually have these in a darker room <coughs> excuse me I'm not feeling too good today guys but uh, today I opened up some shades in here just to uh, uh, do a review of these so as far as true width we get exactly seven inches wide. They are exactly seven inches. Now depth, let's do the depth here. We'll go back to front. And we get exactly nine and five eighths for the width of this, I mean the depth of the speaker, sorry. Beautiful, nine and five eighths deep. And now for height, let's see. So we'll go all the way from the floor because I do have the feet on them. And we are getting exactly three feet in height, 36 inches tall. So there you go. There's your actual size dimensions of it. Now, as you'll notice, I do have the screen off because I wanted to show you a few things, obviously, without it. These are the um, rubber surrounds, which is very nice to have because more than likely, unless you have them in a very humid uh climate or sitting outside or something they're not going to rot out on you like foam will these are pretty nice as i said they're they are rubber surrounds and you do get your uh silk doom tweeter which is very nice and once again all silver and black just i think looks pretty damn sexy to me all right now let's check out the back if you know polks you'll recognize the standard uh bindings that they have on just about every speaker. There we go. Nothing unusual here, guys. Same old, same old from Polk. I know I speak so highly of these guys, but you just, you can't beat the sound for the price on Polk. So there you get it. Polk model monitor 55T in black. Um, you get, like I said, always get doubles. I always use the top. There's no really reason for me as of right now to be using both or a combination. So I stick with the top bindings. Put our speakers back here in place. And then one other thing I wanted to show you real quick here while I got it out is the box. Um, like I said, these were bought from Newegg and they don't skimp out on your shipping. I got both of these in three days, so you can't complain about that. You'll see the grill beside it. But let's take a quick look at the um, box. Um, once again, nothing different from Polk. If you buy any of theirs, you know they pack their stuff really well. Nice, thick cardboard box here I mean really thick and then we get to open them up and the first thing that you always see with Polk you get your little owner's manual and then always on the reverse side you get to your uh, paperwork to register your product which is always good I have everything that I've ever bought from Polk 
registered online under my uh, name and everything like that. So I got probably 15 different types of speakers and stuff. And then inside, we get the standard uh, thick styrofoam. They do put one on the bottom and one in the middle for transportation so they don't go anywhere. But before they put them in the styrofoam, they actually wrap them up in a nice plastic baggie and then stick to bottom and then the middle in. So very nicely done. They never really skimp out, man, I swear. Everything I've ever bought from Polk has always been quality top notch. And then last but not least, we get the screen. And one thing I did want to show you on the screen as well, this one isn't just regular uh, square all the way down. You'll see at the top, you know, just your typical uh, fabric with the plastic screen behind it. It does have the plastic grommets, but there's rubber inside the speaker so you don't get any uh, vibration noise or anything like that. But you'll see at the bottom, it's kind of curved. I'll show you the other side here. It's not just completely square. You actually get a little, I don't know, I guess a little stylish thing they <laughs> decided to do this time with the 55s. Still pretty cool. It looks excellent. And then another thing I did notice, they did like a um, kind of a different logo. I mean, it's still their traditional, you know, Polk symbol. But it's almost in like a brushed aluminum finish. Something different. I think it looks great sitting on the speaker as well. Um, I can go ahead and I guess attach this uh, back real quick. I don't feel like stopping this guy. So stare at a box for two seconds while I put this back in. I'll just keep talking. Um, like I said, it does have the rubber inside the actual speaker. So there's no plastic on plastic. So you won't get any vibrating or you know anything like that. But just a great all around speaker, guys. I'm always bragging about Polk best bang for the buck and they truly truly are so there we go there it is with uh, the grills on as you can see just a nice average looking black speaker i guess but uh for the price like i keep saying and for the sound he just definitely can't beat it go check him out at new egg right now like i said it'll cost you 260 bucks uh to your door shipped from new egg for a pair of these which is just unbelievable for the sound and the quality that you get Anyway, guys, there it is. Tried to do a quick review of the Polk Monitor 55T. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hopefully, you'll come back and see me next time. See ya.